Almost half of the decision makers for the state's largest school district will be new. That's a guarantee. Big changes on the way. WDRB's Katrina Nickel introduces us to the newest face appointed tonight and also looks ahead to the November election. Katrina. Right, you guys. Tonight, the board chose Trisha Lister to fill a vacant seat on the board. She's appointed to serve until November, but will likely hold that seat for four years. I will be taking this position in January, so why not get started now? Trisha Lister, a criminal defense attorney, now represents District 2 on the JCPS Board of Education. The area encompasses most of the Highlands and St. Matthews area. I move that the Board of Education appoint Trisha Lister to the open position. Lister was chosen from a list of three total candidates. Former board member Chris Kolb stepped down from the board in July to apply for a teaching position at JCPS. Kolb tells us he is now a social studies teacher at Shawnee High School. The board is required by law to fill a vacant space within 60 days. Congratulations, Ms. Lister. Welcome to the Jackson Lister's name will also be on November's ballot. Before applying for the vacant spot, she filed to run for the seat. The District 2 race is uncontested after her opponent, Abby Berthold, dropped out of the race. I really believe in public education. I, I think it ought to be the only education game in town. Lister is one of four new possible faces on the JCPS Board of Education. Four seats are up for election, districts one, two, four, and seven. Incumbents Joe Marshall of District 4 and Sarah McIntosh of District 7 are not seeking re-election. Gail Logan Strange is the only incumbent seeking election. She faces one challenger, Mark Gatton. And we connected with all seven JCPS candidates after they filed to run. For more information on them and their thoughts on issues like school choice, you can look for that story on our homepage at WDRB.com. With photojournalist Joshua Horton, Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.